Here's example number two. Maya's older sister got a loan to buy a used car for $3,400. What is the interest rate on the loan? Um, so we're looking at this piece of information. It says, we'll lend it, borrow $3,400 for, for this car today, and pay only $8.50 every month. Okay, so simple interest could be by the year. Simple interest could be by the month. Um, in this case, uh, we're going to look at it as the year. So, so you can see there's step one, step two over here to the side. So step one, we're going to multiply the interest amount by 12 to find the interest for the year. So we take $8.50, multiply by 12, and they're paying $102 of interest. Use the percent equation to find the interest rate. So our percent equation, we have our part, we have our percent, we have our whole, right? So we can look at the whole as what was the loan amount? The interest rate is what we don't know. So we're trying to solve that. So put a variable in there. I don't care what variable. They, they chose P. And the interest amount or the part is the interest that we're paying, which is 102. So how do you undo or how do you get P by itself? That's our goal, right? So we have P times 3,400. So we have to divide by 3,400 to get P by itself. And then that means over here, we got to divide by 3,400. And we're going to get a new equation. So this ends up giving me 1P. And over here, I don't have it memorized. So we're obviously just going to calculate this. 102 divided by 3,400 is... 0 0.03. So again, this is the decimal representation of our percent. So we've got to move that and say it's 3%. Okay. And this is where you'll get familiar, especially when you are shopping for your car, shopping for a house, shopping student loans, as if you're looking in, to go to college and have to pay it by loans. You'll get familiar what a good interest rate is, and you will begin to shop and find out which company offers the best product. 3% uh, for a car loan is pretty good nowadays.